Now, although everyone has got used to a standardization of Gantt charts of blue bars for the width of the progression, blue arrows, black text for the resource name, you can actually go quite some degree to customizing that Gantt chart. Now, rather than actually customizing this Gantt chart, which is the Gantt chart view when you go to task Gantt chart, what I would suggest is if you're looking to customize is to in order to keep the Gantt chart view is actually create your own. So if you go to more views, we can take the Gantt chart view as we have it and copy and create a new Gantt chart. I'm going to call it guys Gantt chart. Now the little ampersand here donates a keyboard shortcut option when you see it in the menu. So the G, which is the letter that the ampersand is in front of, will be underlined and you'll be able to access that through the keyboard. Which table would you like in your guys Gantt chart? Well, I'm going to retain the entry table, but I could change it to any of the others, the cost one, for example. Do we want to have any grouping at all? Well, that's no. And do I want to filter? And you can see the list of filters. I'm going to again leave that as no, so I see all the tasks. And do I want my new Gantt chart to show in the menu? Well, I do. So, okay. Now that puts my guys can chart here in alphabetical order and I can click apply. I'm now currently looking at guys can chart. Now I know that because if I click the little drop down here, I can see I'm now looking at guys can chart. Because I'm looking at guys can chart and not the default can chart, I feel a bit braver about altering the customization. So I click anywhere into the Gantt chart, choose Gantt chart tools and format. And I'm then free pretty much to play with the options that I want to turn on or off or even change the coloring. Coloring is what I'm interested in changing here. There's a section called Gantt chart style. And if you click the drop down, you'll see there's quite a few choices. I'm quite a purpley type person. So I'm going to go with this pink and purple together. And you can see that that then customizes purple apart from this first task. We'll see why it hasn't changed that first task shortly, but it will be explained. I do quite like that purpleness. I can also turn off the project summary task, turn off all the summary tasks if you want. You can just see the numbers are then missing from the task IDs. I can get it to highlight late tasks, which are none because this project doesn't start until 2014. Any slack in the system, and there's a couple of little bits that just appeared there and there, the little blue underline and then any critical tasks, which then turn red, so move away from my style of purple. Nope, let's turn those off. Now, if I want to do further customization of these bars, I can either format a single bar by selecting it, which is like this little blue one, go to format and choose bar, which then allows me to customize that one individual bar, which is why, it's retained its blue style instead of the default purple. Now within that bar, I can change its color to automatic, its pattern to something completely different, so it doesn't have to be solid, and its shape to thinner or half a bar at the top, half a bar at the bottom, or a very thin line. Let's leave that as the default. I can even change the shape for the start and the end. So you can have like little shapes at the end or the start of your bars. So you're pretty much in control here. If I then say OK, you can see it then goes to the little empty boxes. So that's selecting one bar and bar. If I wanted to go back to the default, which is purple, I will click reset. And you see it then revolts back to the style that's been selected for this particular Gantt chart. If I want to control every single bar, then I don't need to select anything. I simply go to Format and Bar Styles, which opens up a completely different dialog box and shows me all the bar styles associated with this particular Gantt chart. So that's with Guy's Gantt chart. That's a task bar. Its appearance is purple for normal, active, and non manually selected tasks. It uses one row and it displays from the task start to the task finish. We also have customization for split, milestones, summaries, project summary, group by summary, rolled up task, etc. etc. So these are all different types of bar and items that you can see. You can see there that a manual task will be the pink rather than the purple for automatically selected. 
Now, if I want to customize any of these individual styles, let's go with the task. So that's the purple bar at the moment. Then down in the lower half, with whatever item I've got in the top, I can customize. So my bars do not need to be purple. They can be any color I like, dark orange. And I can change the pattern. Let's go for that like, little dotty one. I can also change the start and the finish. So let's add a shape on the end, shall we? About an arrow pointing that way and an arrow pointing that way. In bright red and bright red. I mean, it's a little bit garish and a little over the top, but it's mainly to demonstrate a point. What I can also control is the text that appears. Currently, we have the resource names appearing on the right of our tasks. If the resource names are a little bit long, in our resource sheet, if you recall, we actually place resource initials as well. And that is a field available in the list. Instead of resource names, let's have resource initials. And then that will shorten up the space taken on our Gantt chart. Or we could place text on the left of the bar, above the bar, below the bar, or actually inside the bar. Quite useful if all your tasks are of quite lengthy duration. Not very useful if your tasks are very, very short. So let's see our changes in effect. You can see the preview here. It's actually going to look really awful. OK. And you can see there's our tasks. So they're orangey bars with a red arrow at both ends. Unfortunately, where there are very, very short tasks, the orange bar really gets taken out of the situation and we just see the two ends. But you can see the abbreviations in place. DEC for decorator, PL for plaster. PA for paint. Obviously, you'd need to know what your abbreviations were. Me for me is an easy one. So that's format bar styles to control the styles of every potential option appearing on that Gantt chart. Now, these changes, luckily, I'm going to take the ends off because they do look awful. That's the no end. No end. And again, the preview there's an orange bar. I actually prefer the solid one. So solid orange bar, OK, and they do look a little bit more presentable. Now, those changes are only being made to the Gantt chart I'm currently in, which luckily, because I copied it, is Guy's Gantt chart. So not to the default Gantt chart, because most people do expect that sort of blue bar or red bar for critical tasks. But having the facility and the control to create your own customized Gantt chart really makes project very, very flexible. So that's how to create your own Gantt chart. I would always suggest that you copy the default Gantt chart view and then create your own that you can then apply or turn off at any stage. So I can always go back to the normal Gantt chart. And if I want, I can see Guy's Gantt chart when I see fit or when I feel it appropriate.